Hello, I'm just showing this video to give you an idea of something you can do for ventilation when you have issues with humidity in the back of your cab or in your van and whatnot. And I thought you'd be interested to see a temporary design I did real quick just as a prototype test model. And as you can see, there's just your large ice cream container you can get real cheap. I'm sure you'll have fun emptying that out for this project. And what I did was I cut out the inside of the lid to fit this fan. I believe this fan is a 200 millimeter uh, exhaust fan. Basically it's a 12 volt uh, fan for your computer case. And uh, as you can see the, the power is being supplied through these cables that it came with. And what I did is I ended up just hooking them up to the uh, solar panel that I have. In fact, these are actually running straight from the solar panel from the solar panel regulator, which I'll show you in a second. But just to give you a little bit more details of what's going on with this, is I actually have it mounted, as you can see, fairly decently with some uh, magnets. <clears throat> and the magnets are those black strips that you see in the bottom. And what it is, is I'm pulling air from between the bed of the truck and the toolbox which is this whole back section. This is actually the back of the, the trucks right here inside the cabin. And as you can see on the top, I have two more strips of black magnets. As you can see in the far side over here and in this side right here. And that right there is a very special powerful magnet that I bought before. And I just actually threw that in the last minute and adhered it with uh, some black tape uh, just for some extra protection as I, as I test this prototype. Um, I'm actually going to probably end up using Velcro to go along the sides or in this case the bottom part right here right as I'm outlining and as you can see from there what's going to happen is, is the Velcro will act as the adhesion and the seal and as you can take a look if you see there's actually a distinction of a little white spot right here and I'll actually show you how I lift it up since this is removable right now and there and what it is is those strips are just your vinyl foam weather seal um, pretty simple to to apply and as you can see this is what it's actually pulling air through and then the gap and I'll actually get you see where it's inside it goes all the way through the bottom you're actually seeing the the pavement that I'm parked on top of obviously and the stuff that's in between so there's actually a lot more stuff to see but it doesn't show up on camera very well but right here is the system and I'll just throw it right back on real quick okay line it up and just like that everything's good to go again and the purpose of this is like I was saying it gives you a, a way to exhaust your um, humidity and um, you know if you stay in here any kind of long or if you put produce or anything like that you know sitting in the back of your truck anything wet you know maybe you were working out in the rain and you threw your clothes back here and all this cabin will start catching uh, all that moisture because of the difference in the air temperature and the outside coolness uh, so uh, since it's a small enclosed area it actually picks up, picks up the, the moisture pretty quickly and it just holds it um, of course I don't know sure I don't know if you can actually hear or not, but I'm sure you can see that it is on, but it's very quiet. So, say you wanted to be back here while you had this running for a while, it wouldn't even bother you. Um, it's very quiet. I believe it has like a 129 CFM ratio, or uh, rating, I'm sorry, uh, for this fan, which is uh, really decent. Um, you can see right there, it tells you that it's uh, 12 volt DC and uh, 0.42 amp is what the draw is, the brushless one. Uh, it's actually sleeved uh, bearing, which is one of the reasons why it's so quiet. Um, anyway, the, the application of this is to essentially, uh, since I do keep food back here and stuff like that throughout the day, um, it's just to help keep it cooler and keep the humidity out of here. So the, the system is actually gonna be worked by pushing air so these little holes and they're actually there's four of them in each corner of this cabin and the idea is that since I'm bringing in air positive pressure uh, the cool air since it's coming from beneath the truck and in between these metal pieces which are 
pretty much centralized right in the middle of the truck. Uh, I did that on purpose. So it's going to be a lot cooler than the surrounding uh, area of the truck and the shell. So it should be bringing in cooler air during the day and blowing it up against the ceiling and distribute the, or offset the hot air and force basically, like I was saying, the hot air out at the same time. So that's the general idea. And let's see if I can show you the the, the back out part. I mean, uh, a, a zoomed out portion of it. And that's basically it right there. And the wiring is pretty much set up to where I just temporarily ran it and it's going to over here. I'm actually in the shade and at a very bad angle for the catching the solar. But as you can see, it was still running and I'm still, st it's still running. So, you know, the fan over there was running good. So, uh, I'm actually running out the load section and as you can see, um, it's just wired in real quickly and that's how it's being powered. So, I thought you'd be interested in seeing that and I hope you can, uh, take something this as like I said this is just a prototype uh, later on I'll add switches and probably a, a battery in line with it so it would charge the battery and then eventually uh, say I wanted to run it at night for other purposes I'll be able to set it up and uh, and just you know switch it on just from there so hope you enjoyed the video hope it helps everybody out there that is looking for a solution um, I've been told that dehumidifiers and stuff like that uh, and uh, you know other catch moisture type devices won't work and one of the best things to do is to go with uh, airflow so that's the reason why I'm doing it uh, I would like to use battery I'm sorry I like to use uh, solar power instead of battery so this is one of the reasons why I'm testing it like I said eventually I will get a smaller battery that would be dedicated to the fan for nights only and it'd be an on-demand issue so again hope this uh, helps a lot for you guys that are doing projects like that uh, just a quick side note uh, before I end this, um, just in case you don't want to go with a 12 volt fan and you want to use another computer fan that usually are rated around 5 volts, um, you're going to probably need a buck boost. So um, there's plenty of information on the internet how to use those and stuff like that. So uh, you're going to need to learn how to line those up uh, with your wiring and whatnot. And uh, you can go from there. So again, hope this helps you out and good luck. Bye.